Today I watched President Obama deliver a speech from Kansas and I was very moved and touched by the things he said. I was moved to the point where I felt the need to write him a letter and express my feelings and what I believe to be the feelings of many others. I'd like to share with you that letter today and with hopes that, that each of you out there might take the time to, to write him a letter with your feelings also. I wrote, Dear Mr. President, my name is Lenny. I'm a 50-year-old American father and grandfather. I have recently found the need to re-educate myself by going to a community college and am learning a new field to earn a living in. This is not an easy thing to do at my age, but I'm doing it. Today I watched and listened to your speech today, uh, from Kansas. I was again very moved, as I have been in the past, when you spoke. You see, when I and others that voted for you in 2008, we, we were not so much voting for you as we were voting for change. You gave many beautiful speeches back then also. Today, I believe, was the first time that you formally acknowledged that those of us in the Occupy Movement, what those of us in the Occupy Movement have been protest saying and protesting about. We've been holding out hope that our president, whom was voted into office on the platform of change, would at least come out publicly and address our, the people's issues. Mr. President, there is no doubt that it took a lot of courage to make this, that speech today. To reinforce what the 99% have been saying, loudly and clearly, I might add, for a while now. Your courage is commendable regarding this. As a grandfather of five, and father of five, I have sincere concerns what kind of country we might leave behind for them. What kind of country will be left for them? Will it be a country of war? A country where the rich make the rules as we go along only to their own benefit? Or do we leave a world similar to the one that we found when we came of age? A country where every child has the same opportunity for education. A country where every child has the ability to live the American dream. These are my concerns, Mr. President, along with millions of other Americans. And I thank you for finally addressing these issues. And candidly, I might add, I'm very grateful for that. However, Mr. President, I have only one question. And I believe it to be the most important of all questions at this point. Being that you have acknowledged the obvious publicly, it takes great courage to speak as you did today, and it will take much more courage on your part to take action. So, Mr. President, my one question is, what drastic brave action are you going to take to fix these problems that you identified in your speech today? Please, Mr. President, don't just leave it there acknowledged, but without a true solution and plan of action. We need action not words alone. Sincerely and respectfully, Leonard L. Fisher.